everybody, Edo here, and today, Forrest Bauer, father, brother, game reviewer, is joining to review Roll Through the Ages, the Bronze Age. Now, Forrest has a great channel, it's really loose and fun, and he was one of the guys that was super helpful to me, the, the liftoff campaign, and also just being comfortable with a loose review format. So, super awesome channel, I'll link it, but also this great game, Roll Through the Ages. Check it out. Thanks. Hey there, my name's Forrest, and I want to show you one of my all-time favorite games. One of my favorite games of all time is Roll Through the Ages, the Bronze Age from Griffin Games. This is for one to four players, ages eight and up. It'll take about 30 to 45 minutes to play. And this is one of those games that really got me and my wife into gaming. It was actually one of the first games that I played solo that really helped me realize that I like solo games. But let's get into a little bit what this game is about. So this game, it tries to be a civilization game. It's all about rolling dice. The first thing you're going to notice when I open this box is that, that this is a very, very well-made game. The components are absolutely top-notch. You're going to get some of these big, chunky wooden pieces that you're not worried about breaking or doing losing, actually, probably. Then you're going to get nice, I believe they're burned on their wooden dice, and you're going to be rolling through the ages trying to decide on some tricky choices. Do you want to build different monuments that are going to give you victory points, or do you want to develop different elements of your culture that are going to help you out? Like, say, for instance, uh, you know, agriculture, which will add to your food on your dice, or medicine, which will cancel out some negative effects that you're going to have. Or you're going to try and attack your opponents. There's an option where you can even attack the, the other people at the board. Or are you just going to try and build up the biggest city? Because as you build up your city when you start, you're going to, like, going to be able to roll three dice. Which is going to make it hard to get food and get money and get people. But if you build up your cities, then you're going to get more dice. So, for instance, if you have five cities, you will roll five dice. You can go up all the way up to seven cities, which means you'll be rolling seven of these dice. But the problem is you have to feed your people, which is another one of these things on the tracks. So you're going to be keeping track of your, your, uh, what you're producing on here and how many food you have here and feeding your people and all sorts of different things. And each game is different because you try out different strategies and you can say, hey, I'm going to focus on this or focus on that. But then if you get a really good roll or a really bad roll, it might completely change what you're doing. Uh, it's one to four players. I don't see why it couldn't be played with more players. I'd like to eventually combine two boards and see if maybe they can play an eight-player game of this, even though it would get a little bit boring, I think, waiting in between. Um, I mentioned, though, that this was one of those games that really helped me figure out that I enjoy solo games, and that's because you can play this solo and just see how many points you can get. And for someone like me who enjoys that, I really enjoy it a lot. Um, it's from Matt Leacock, one of my favorite game designers. Great components, a lot of fun, playable solo very easy to learn, very easy to teach, and it's just a lot of fun. If it looks like it might be fun to you, check it out. It's Roll Through the Ages, the Bronze Age. Thanks. That was Forrest Bauer reviewing Roll Through the Ages, the Bronze Age. Again, his review channel is Bauer's Game Corner, worth checking out. I'll link it. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. More importantly, play some good games. Thanks. Bye.